everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how to pick numbers. First things first, what is picking numbers? Picking numbers is a key strategy to use on the math sections of the SAT and ACT. Instead of wasting brain power trying to work out complicated algebra, substitute simple numbers for the variables found in the problem and solve using these numbers. This will cut out hard to catch algebraic mistakes and save time in the long run. So when should you use the picking number strategy? This is the perfect strategy to use whenever you see variables in the question and the answer choices. A popular phrase in picking numbers question is in terms of. When you see this phrase, remember to use picking numbers. There are a couple things you need to remember when using the picking number strategy. The first is to always choose different numbers for each variable. If there are multiple variables in the problem, don't go picking the number 5, for example, for every variable. This will only confuse your math and may cause you to get the problem wrong. Never choose 0, 1, or 2 as numbers for your variables. Each of these numbers has special properties, which may affect the outcome of your solutions. So to be safe, avoid using these numbers entirely. Write the numbers you've chosen for each variable on the side of the problem. This seems like a simple thing, but will become extremely important as the algebra becomes more complicated. You don't want to put the wrong number in for the wrong variable. That would mess the entire problem up. So get into the habit of writing the numbers down. If you have enough time, try every answer choice. Although it doesn't happen often, there are certain problems where certain numbers give you more than one correct answer. Therefore, you don't want to stop at the first correct answer you come across. If more than one answer choice works, try different numbers with different properties. For example, try a negative number if you're using a positive. Try an odd number if you're using an even. Only try your second number choice and the answers you haven't already crossed out. This should eliminate any double answers. So now that we've gone over how and when to use the strategy, let's try this example problem. If A is an odd integer and B is an even integer, which of the following must be odd? As you can see, there are two variables in the problem, A and B, and they appear in both the question and the answer choices. This is a perfect picking numbers problem. After reading the question, I know that A must be odd and B must be even. So following my picking number rules, I'll choose 3 for A and 4 for B. Now all that's left to do is to go to the answer choices and plug in the number 3 anytime I see A and the number 4 anytime I see B. From my work, it's clear to see that there is only one choice that gives me an odd number. Therefore, C is the correct response. So that was everything you need to know about picking numbers. I hope you enjoyed the video and please remember to check out our channel for more helpful strategies and how-to videos. Be sure to go to www.wilsondailyprep.com for more online test prep, including daily SAT and ACT practice questions. Daily practice is the key to testing success.